Number 10. Hunted Mammoth In August of 2012, a boy no older than 11 made a bizarre discovery on a frozen bluff that overlooks the Arctic Ocean. The boy was exploring the coast of Yenisei Bay, which is located around a thousand miles from the North Pole. In the ice, he found the legs of a woolly mammoth. The woolly mammoth had been killed by humans a very long time ago. It was covered in wounds sustained by primitive weapons. Its eye sockets, its ribs, and basically every part of its body had been battered by man-made spears. One of these spears had even left a dent in its cheekbone, probably from where an ancient person tried to spear its trunk. But here was the big surprise. When researchers dated the remains, they learned that the mammoth died 45,000 years ago. This shocked scientists because it proved indisputably that humans were living in the Arctic over 10,000 years earlier than previously thought. It also means that almost 50,000 years ago, human beings were prowling the Arctic with our primitive hunting spears, slowly but steadily killing off all the mammoths. Number 9. World War I Relics Melting ice in the Italian Alps have revealed some very interesting relics from World War I. Specifically, the artifacts came from a battle called the White War, which was fought between soldiers 10,000 feet high in the mountain passes. Soldiers dug themselves a wooden barracks from a pre-existing cave on Mount Skorluzzo. There, for over three years, 20 men from the Austro-Hungarian army fought against Italian troops in some of the most miserable scrapping that took place throughout the whole war. All these years later, over a century gone, the remains of the White War are finally being thawed from the ice. Archaeologists have begun to find frozen weapons, letters left behind by the soldiers, and even diaries perfectly preserved in the ice. Not only that, but they've also uncovered the barracks itself that was used by the Austro-Hungarian soldiers. Until 2015, it was completely sealed off by the ice, and so researchers were never able to enter. The shelter was locked when the war ended in November of 1918, and nobody went in it for nearly 100 years. When archaeologists finally got to investigate the ruined bunker, they found dozens of belongings that were abandoned by the soldiers. They simply didn't care what they left behind as they hurried to get out of the mountains and back to their homes. Number 8. Too Many Ice Age Monsters Animals are being discovered in the Siberian permafrost so frequently right now that researchers are a little overwhelmed. For example, researchers recently discovered a mysterious creature that died around 50,000 years ago and was then frozen in ice. According to paleontologist Valery Plotnikov, this mysterious creature may have been a cave wolf or it could have been a bear, he just has no idea. Valery is a researcher at the Russian Academy of Sciences in Yakutsk, no stranger to frozen animals from the permafrost. But this one is peculiar because its teeth don't match any other animal. It has fewer toes than wolves or bears, and it just straight looks weird. It's also one of the oldest things that Valerie has ever analyzed in his laboratory. Speaking of his laboratory, it's currently packed with so many bones of ancient animals pulled out of the melting ice that he doesn't have space for anymore. As the climate warms, the frozen ground that covers about 95% of Siberia is revealing animals that have been dead since the Ice Age. There's a booming trade in mammoth tusks going on, with locals digging up mammoth bones that had previously been frozen in ice just to sell their tusks to China for tens of thousands of dollars. Number 7. A Sad Frozen Turtle A very sad leatherback sea turtle was discovered frozen in the ice near Island View in the Canadian province of Nova Scotia. Laura Burke, a veterinary pathologist working with the Canadian Wildlife Health Cooperative, says the endangered turtle was emaciated at the time it was frozen. She believes the enormous turtle starved to death because of the ice. It was so seriously frozen that it took a tractor to lift the massive turtle out. It had probably been feeding very late in the year along the coast of Cape Breton, searching for yummy jellyfish when it got lost and disoriented. It couldn't figure out how to get back to the Atlantic Ocean. It wound up on the beach, and then the cold came. The turtle literally got encased in ice and couldn't feed, and so it suffered a very slow and very cold death. It just goes to show that even millions of years of evolution can't always protect an animal from succumbing to the brutal elements. Number 6. Resurrected Moss British scientists successfully brought back to life moss that had been frozen beneath Antarctic ice for over 1,500 years. While it's true that bacteria of a similar age have been restored to life before, scientists in 2014 said this was the oldest plant ever resurrected. Here's how they did it. The scientists extracted the ancient vegetation from deep within the ice, then carefully thawed it out and were shocked to see that new shoots appeared rather rapidly. The moss was taken from a mossy bank which formed over the frozen Antarctic ice over thousands and thousands of years. 
The moss here springs to life each summer on the surface, while beneath there are layers of completely frozen moss that date back over 5,000 years. This was a huge leap forward for scientists. Prior to the frozen moss being revived, researchers only ever managed to regrow material that had been frozen solid for 20 years. Of course, it did take a little more patience than simply thawing out the moss. Researchers had to take what appeared to be dead samples from inside the permafrost, put them inside an incubator, and then watch them carefully for three weeks. After 21 days, the moss began to grow again, as if it had never been frozen in the first place. Number 5. Burned Antarctic Forest Speaking of Antarctic plant life, scientists have discovered evidence that 75 million years ago, when the dinosaurs were still roaming around and nowhere close to being wiped out, James Ross Island was covered in a lush jungle. James Ross Island, a large island off the southeast side and near the northeastern point of the Antarctic Peninsula, currently experiences the climate typically associated with frozen wasteland. So while that may be the case now, it wasn't always the case. First lush jungles, and now evidence has shown that the prehistoric landscape experienced devastating forest fires. An international team of researchers from the Federal University of Pernambuco in Brazil discovered fossilized pieces of charcoal residue suggesting the forest that once covered Antarctica had burned down between 84 and 72 million years ago. In fact, it may have burned down multiple times. The charcoal remains were preserved thanks to thousands and millions of years of volcanic ash. The reason there were fires in Antarctica was because of volcanic activity. The tectonic plates moved, volcanoes spat fire onto Antarctica, and forests burned to the ground. It's pretty amazing to think that the bottom of the world today, which is basically just a big sheet of ice, was once a dinosaur hellscape of burning trees. How do you feel knowing that Antarctica was more similar to the Amazon jungle and that it probably burned down and regrew several times? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe before the end of the video. Number 4. A Couple of Sticks in 2009, employees with Parks Canada, Greg Horn and Mike Dillon discovered a pair of sticks at the edge of a vast ice patch near the Barbican Pass. This is pretty close to Jasper National Park, but the employees thought the sticks looked out of place, seeing as they were found above the tree line. The sticks also looked as though they had been shaped on purpose. When they took the sticks back to the lab and tested them, one turned out to be pretty recent, just 240 years old. The other dated back 2,500 years. It turned out these sticks were left behind by indigenous people who had once moved through the area. It's unclear what exactly the sticks were part of, but they may have been arrows, spears, tools, or anything else. Experts say the indigenous people were probably hunting animals through the ice patch, things like caribou or bison. Whatever the indigenous people dropped or didn't need as they made their way across the vast Canadian wilderness was swallowed by the snow and then frozen in ice. All these years later, some of these artifacts are beginning to reveal themselves. Number 3. The Tomb of the Prince The frozen burial mound believed to contain the ancient remains of a royal Scythian warrior along with a small hoard of gold treasure was discovered in Siberia. The burial mound is over 2,800 years old. Experts believe it's the largest royal tomb in the region made by the Scythians. For those who don't know, the Scythians were nomadic warriors who lived in large social groups all throughout what is today Siberia, as well as some parts of Central Asia. They thrived from around the year 900 BC to 200 BC, spreading their influence all the way to Asia and even into nearby Europe. But what's truly amazing about these people is that they never built settlements. They kept on the move, camping in huge colonies, and then picking up everything and moving as the seasons changed. For this reason, the Scythians are incredibly mysterious. The Greeks wrote about them, the Persians mentioned them in literature, and even the Assyrians talked about them. But because of their nomadic lifestyle, they left almost nothing behind. That is, except for burial mounds. This particular one was discovered in the frozen Uyuk Valley, a place referred to by the locals as the Siberian Valley of the Kings. The location of the tomb, frozen in a winter swamp, made it impossible for looters to pillage. It was found with the mysterious corpse still inside and over a thousand gold objects. But even almost two decades after its discovery, researchers still don't know the name of the man buried here or why he was entombed with such riches. Number 2. Misplaced Smallpox While some of us may be dismayed when cleaning out our freezers and discovering that there are some weird and gross things left behind, at least we aren't dealing with anything especially dangerous. This isn't always the case, especially in places that handle dangerous samples. Hiding in a freezer at a medical facility in Pennsylvania were some vials of smallpox. According to federal health authorities as well as the CDC, 
A laboratory worker discovered the frozen samples of smallpox while cleaning out the freezer. Of course, this wasn't a freezer full of food. It wasn't a janitor throwing out old bottles of ketchup who stumbled upon vials of actual smallpox. It was a freezer in a vaccine research facility. But at some point, probably many years ago, somebody put the frozen vials of smallpox in the back of the freezer and forgot about them. Luckily, the laboratory worker was wearing full protective equipment when they made the discovery. Nobody was exposed to smallpox. And for those of you who were too young to know what smallpox is, it was a wicked infectious disease that plagued the world for hundreds of years. Smallpox killed about a third of the people infected. It was eradicated by 1980 thanks to childhood vaccinations against the disease, which came out in the 1970s. The last huge outbreak in the U.S. was in 1949. Today, smallpox samples are kept only at designated facilities for the purpose of vaccine research and to help develop drugs that can protect people against other diseases. Samples definitely aren't supposed to be left in random freezers. Number 1. Georg OTS The Georg OTS ferry was built in Poland and went on its maiden voyage in 1979. The vessel had a displacement of over 10,000 tons, a crew of 200, and passengers of up to 600. It could also carry with it 150 cars. The ship's home was Tallinn from 1980 to 2000. It transported passengers and cargo between Tallinn and Helsinki. In 2010, the ship was purchased by Russia and then used to run the route between Kaliningrad and St. Petersburg. It was a trip of over 45 hours depending on the time of year. But before the ferry had done much ferrying, it ended up on the route from Murmansk to Anadyr, meaning it needed to move through the Northern Sea. It broke after just 15 days of service, overtaken by icebreakers. When the ship finally arrived in Vladivostok, it was completely frozen in ice. Not knowing what to do with it, the Russians thought about using the ferry as a floating hotel. But this failed. The ferry sat at Vladivostok covered in ice until 2013 when it was sent to China, where its fate became something of a mystery. Have you ever discovered or read about something unusual frozen in ice? A creature? An artifact? Perhaps some really old frozen cookie dough? Let me know in the comments and thanks a lot for watching the video. Remember to hit subscribe and check out our limitless supply of amazing content right here on American Eye.